You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. No, I'm sorry, dude. We got a fly trap. I'm sorry. No, I'm so good at it. I'm trying You're to good at catching flies. Is that a is that a Louisiana thing? I don't know if it is, but I'm good at it. I like I like catching fruit flies. Hell yeah. Uh, that's my favorite thing. It's your favorite. It's your favorite thing. If I catch a bug, it's awesome. It's like a. It's you know. It's uh. It's like a little treat for the day. I'm like, oh yeah, I am fucking basically a kung fu master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wasn't like there a scene them, from like, Tenacious D where he made he was trying to make Kyle catch the? Did you ever watch that movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, if you can catch the fly or whatever, you can you can have the remote. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I can't remember. You pulled up with a single Cayman Jack. That is so legendary, I, dude. I, mean, I, I just love you it. You were drinking it in the car too. Like uh, it's hot. It's hot still. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hot now. It's summertime. Yeah, you know? dude. You didn't even put a koozie on that thing. You're like, I'm just gonna wing it, dude. It did get incredibly warm pretty fast. <laughs> Let me feel it. Is it what's it? Oh my god! It's completely it's room temp, dude. Warm. It's it's <laughs> above room temp somehow because your hands have been on it. Oh god! I yeah, it still that, tastes dude. good though. I mean, shit, I I never had one either, and then I just uh yeah, I was like tasting it. I'm like, damn, dude. If I if this was on ice with a little salt, it's woo. like the smearing off of margaritas. <laughs> That's what the it's like a little pre made marg, Cayman Jack. Yeah, it's not awesome. It's pretty syrupy, but. <laughs> Especially when it's warm. It's like a Sixth Street margarita in a can. It says ready to drink. I disagree. I think, I think you need to push <laughs> you think it over needs ice. work? It needs I think something. it needs work. It needs something. It needs something. <laughs> Hell yeah. CJ, thanks for coming, dude. We did it. No, we did it. We did finally. it, bro. We finally did it. We've been talking about this for like months, dude. Yeah, this is this is one of the excited. times, one of the times you uh you were I had invited you to come do it. You were like I was like, hey, are we still doing this? And you were like, yeah, dude, I've been sick as hell for like a week. I'm just, it's terrible, but I'm going to, I'm going to make it, dude. I'm going to make, I'm like, dude, just stay home. dude. You you got that dog in you, dude. You're just, you're trying to do it anyway. I figured it'd be funny if I came just like sick as shit. With a <laughs> got mask it, got on. everybody sick. Yeah, just throw the mask on. But yeah, and no, I was deathly ill. I mean, uh, working at, you know, any kind of bar, this, this happened a lot when I worked at like restaurants and shit too. You just around a bunch of fucking deviants that do a lot of drugs and. You know, it's you're you're in like back bar areas where it's kind of musty. There's a lot of like uh, you know condensation everywhere. Everybody's germs getting the spread. Everybody's sharing joints and cigarettes, and then everyone just gets sick. That's what happens at mothership. Mm -hmm. It's just like when someone's sick or got it's the like flu, a plague goes around. It goes around so fast, dude. Then everybody. It's like being it. a kid in kindergarten and shit, dude. And like the, yeah. all the parents are sick and all the kids are sick and everyone's sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in 2020, they used to <laughs> shut the world down for a thing like that, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's just get super <laughs> anti red Let's pilled. get super red pilled on this, dude. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I don't know. I worked at a lot of restaurants. You worked at a lot of restaurants? I worked at one restaurant uh, for one. a little bit. Yeah, I, so I have a little bit. I, I had that experience, but I didn't work in enough to be like, what? I was in the service. Were you, you a know? server? Or a, a I, was a, I was like a bus a busser and i would seat people and it was like a an italian restaurant so i'd bring them i'd bring bread and like we yeah. do like bread and salads and everyone shit. always asked me if i was a server but i was i was a back of the house guy through and through yeah dishwasher i actually went uh this i could see you this fucking is, uh, yeah, getting this, getting soapy i, I could get see mad at them too when they tell me they need more ramekins <laughs> Okay, you, you can ram this ramming on your yeah. fucking ass, prick. <laughs> uh, it's always like you know, like servers, like just like you know, pretty chicks that are just that are just like really uh, they're like, oh, can I get a more ram again? And I'm like, you motherfuckers. Yeah, I'd get so mad because then all the dishes are piled up and you're trying to wash them as fast as you can and they're all yeah. just getting fucking and you also mouthy. know that like even if you give this girl all the ramekins she desires like you're the dishwasher <laughs> like you're not the line cook like yeah, you yeah. never hear about the hot server banging the dishwasher right it's usually never. The, it's usually the like, greasy oh, they line at, cook that's, that's tattooed the whole thing. guy yeah they talk to you like you're trash really oh they don't even look at you in the eye when they ask for more ramekins <laughs> and then <laughs> They don't. They just yeah, we need we need more. They're just shouting at you from the other direction. Yeah. But yeah, no, it, it happened. Uh, what was I was like, I went in for the. It was Chili's. I went in for. Uh, you were working at a Chili's. Yeah, for a server interview. I, I went in for a server interview <laughs> and left with a dishwasher job. <laughs> Not even kidding. They're like, dude, you know, you're more dish pit material, dude. I think you're. <laughs> they're like, hmm, we like you, <laughs> but we don't like you for a server. <laughs> I think we know where you belong. You're like, dude, are they gonna give me a manager position right now? Yeah, they did not like me at the, <laughs> the uh, server position, which is kind of fair, actually. I don't know, like, I mean, because I, 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 I'm pretty, I can get pretty hostile, uh, combative. 
uh, I don't know. I'm just using words that my exes have told me. <laughs> but I, <laughs> your therapist. I definitely, I definitely would. I just get argumentative a little, and uh, I think that's not good for service. You know, if yeah. somebody's like complaining, I feel like I would. I'd get pretty. I'd get pretty upset. Um, this steak is a. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's, it's a little on. overdone. You know, steak's a little over. Could I get? Could yeah. you guys redo that? Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd throw on the. I'd throw on the suburban mom. Fucking, you know, there's starving kids in Africa line. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> just, I'd throw them. That. You'd throw them some old school. But I'd be really pissed off about it. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, under, oh, under, under, undercooked, huh? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I just, I would never come back. I would, I would really just leave. I'd be pretty upset. I, I don't think I'd be able to handle it because the pressure's on. That's the thing. It's like you got to be nice too. That, that's what really would fuck with me. Mm -hmm. That's what would really send me over the edge. Is that the money's on the line. You have to be nice to make more money. Right. That then would get me. F well, you have to absorb the negative shit energy from this person. Who's treating you like shit? Mm -hmm. And then you have to go. Yeah, we'll take the steak back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You have to I get one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd hate. I would hate to be so fake. That's kind of why I like stand up because I can just kind of be. I can be real, and yeah. most of the time it works. Mm -hmm. uh, I can usually wake a crowd up from like being kind of tight by yelling at them. Uh, but you're not a very yelly guy. You're very chill. I like. am pretty chill, but I definitely have moments of yell for sure. So I you just snap. I definitely snap. Oh shit. Where I'm like, oh, oh, that wasn't funny, huh? I guess I've, I guess the two years I've been telling that joke's been a fucking lie. Then. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> I like how chill you go from super chill to like it has. It's a good bipolar energy you got you got going on there, dude. You've never snapped at me. Yeah, because then they laugh at a nervousness. Right. <laughs> and then I, now I got them rolling. Right. Yeah, and then you can be nice. You can go right, the slide right back into nice again. Slide right back into jokes. I like that. Dude. Oh, it's happened to me a couple of times on the road too, where I snap at them. Uh, it'll wake them up though. A lot of times, like a lot of times, it's, it's just sometimes where it's like, oh, they're getting their drinks, you know. I'm like, whether I'm like the host or the feature, you know, like they're just kind of, it just kind of takes them a second to wake up, mm -hmm. and then you just fucking. Pull I've the seen rug you cold, out o cold open a show at Mothership, I think, a couple times. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's you're you're good. I like I like that. Thanks. That's yeah, a good, our, that's a good spot for you. I feel yeah, like. I'm 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 a, a career opener. Uh, <laughs> all <laughs> same ever dude, be. same bro. <laughs> uh, I'll just open for people. Say hey, I'm here to bring up the main guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm here to bring up the person you're actually here to see. That's me too with music. I've been doing the same shit for t ten years, dude. Just career Damn, opener. Yeah, that's no, cool. we've had line tours, but they're just they don't go well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 like starting to headline now. I'm actually headlining San Antonio LOL at uh May thirteenth. Yeah, May thirteenth. <laughs> this will be out next week. Just guessing. This will uh, be out next hey, week. Hey Taylor. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting like a buzz from your microphone. From my mic? Yeah. Goddamn buzz. Is that any better? That might be. Hey. Still No, I think it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. yeah cool. So it just wasn't like a full click. Oh, I kind of hear it a little bit. I think May it's like the 16th. Gate. Oh. Sorry. LOL, May 16th. <laughs> LOL, San Antonio. San Antonio, May 16th. CJ yeah, Landry. Yeah, Let's go. It. Might I, yell I would love at to see you. you do more than fucking. You Come know, to see me, minutes. might yell at you. <laughs> How long you do on a headline? Uh, 45. Set? Woo! Yeah. Sheesh. I did 45 at Cap City recently, and it went real well. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, it's. it's uh, And it's always like, you know, I'm always pretty critical. So there was definitely some points where my eyes could be better, but dude, that's a good that's a good way to put it in perspective for me. I feel like for how short I've only been doing comedy for like a year, and I have I have maybe like if I really slow down and riff a little bit like six or seven minutes. Yeah, I'm very honest about how much time I have, mm -hmm. and so the, the th then you then you go oh yes he's doing forty five. I'm like oh my I know, god I can't, I, I, I can't even wrap my head around forty five still. But you're just you're, you're you just write all your jokes down. And you go, I think it's forty five, and then by the time like you're doing it, it mm. gets to that point, and you're like, oh damn, that happened last time at, at Cap City where I got to like forty minutes. And I was like, all right, that's all I got really. And then I did like one crowd work moment that went went real well. I got lucky mm -hmm. and just like had like a fire crowd work moment. Then like a a joke I didn't tell like would fit right into it, and then I was able to close on that. So hopefully that happens again. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I've you been writing know. like fucking crazy, dude. I've been trying to write so much to keep up with, like, just with uh, me kind of getting sick of jokes and also, mm -hmm. like, me trying to tell 45. I mean, it's, you pretty much got to tell everything you got. 
I yeah. mean, at that point, you just tell them what, whatever the fuck you have. I'm just at that point where I have like long. I have a couple things that I know work now, and I'm like, cool, and like they've done good, and then I'm like, okay, but now you have to go. Basically, you have to start over every time. You have to like write a new joke. I'm finding it because you got to start try something new, and it's that you don't know if it works. I know, and it's just like that's the I'm trying to get over that fear now because I got the I got the blanket on. I'm all comfy with like I got these fucking four, yeah. four, four or five things I can say that yeah, I know are gonna get the pops. F- the fuzzy jokes. I got the on. little back pocket. Yeah, I got them slippers on. Dude. <laughs> you felt I, I comfy. Need to put, I need to put the boots back on dude, and get to work i know it's hard um, bro and you play music though right uh yeah i do it's been a long it's been a, been a little while we we played our last show like a year ago uh uh and, and it's we had, metal. We just been, yeah, yeah you're a front man yeah you're 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 screaming <laughs> and your your main title's screaming scream screamer okay yeah. so that's great and i've been so sing, was... i've been saying i sang singing on the new shit though we're throwing oh. new, i threw through i'm going out of oh, comfort zone trying to get on the radio oh, oh, I, uh, he's trying to get on the radio i, I was in a screamo band <laughs> and uh in, in uh high school and uh yeah looking back it was kind of bullshit that you know I was like trying to learn an instrument, get real good, and like what instrument? really great. I was playing guitar. Nice. I was like, you know, trying to get real good and play every note fucking right. Mm-hmm. And I was getting paid the same as a guy's like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, this is kind of wait, a wait, scam. Wait, wait you bullshit. Guys, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> yeah, we were getting paid. Not a lot. But the we were hell? Doing, we were doing gigs. That was the fuck. Yeah, we were doing like house <laughs> parties. We were doing uh, like there was event centers. Yeah. Well, you there came. Was a, Go ahead, go ahead. There was a large, there was a large screamo scene like in mm-hmm. my hometown for a minute, which is in Louisiana. Where yeah, is it? not not New Orleans. No, it's like an hour. Uh, okay, it's like an hour southwest of New Orleans. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's called Homa. I feel like Louisiana has just a a good music scene just because of New Orleans being having New Orleans there. Like, yeah, just the the screamo scene was just bigger back then. Mm. I feel like I don't know, maybe maybe it still is kind of big, but screamo it, is like nails on a chalkboard, bro. You can't be calling metal screamo, dude. Okay, all come right, on, dude. Right, Not on this podcast, Word dude. Up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Am you know, I a poser? You, no, no, dude. No, most people call it. No, most people call it screamo. It's 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 just like to us, it's like a fucking slur. No, not really. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just like it's uh, it's screamo. You know what screamo music is? It's like fucking Hawthorne Heights and shit. I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know what screamo. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but to me, no, we were playing death metal. If I was being real. Oh, nice. Because okay, it was cool. all, it was like just pig squeals and fucking. It, there was no singing at all. I prefer to picture you in a screamo band, like you're all wearing matching tuxedos and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? I prefer to. Because whenever that. I say death metal, though, I feel like normies don't know what I'm talking <coughs> oh. about. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They you know think I mean? like Metallica or something. Right. They, right. Well, they, well, they think like uh, they they think like Slipknot or like mm-hmm. uh, what, what, what's the one where they where they <laughs> this, this dude this man always making me laugh hard as fuck. The guys that like uh, the guys that dress up Guar. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Pull up some Guar pictures, <laughs> <Yeah>. Tony. <laughs> dude, Guar makes me laugh so hard. Dude, just Guar's imagining, the shit. Just imagining the green room, these guys trying. One to- of my guitarists was doing guitar tech work, and he toured with Guar. He was he was doing guitar tech for a band that's opening for Guar, and uh, and he said that they they're like actually funny dudes, and they have like on their big you know road rigs that they have they have these monitors on the back of them, and like only the people that are like the techs that are dealing with the the gear and shit can see it. They have porn running on it all day. Oh my god! Just as a gag. I mean, it, you got to be funny to do this. Oh yeah, for this sure. This is like, yo. And so, have you seen them before? Mm-mm. Oh, you never seen them before? You know, they like spray shit all over the crowd. Have you really? heard of it? Yeah, they spray? they spray like fake blood and fake cum and fake piss all over the crowd. It's just like different colored, like food coloring okay, liquids. Okay, yeah. And it's like a thing to go to a Guar show with like a white T-shirt, and uh-huh. then like like there's dudes that are like super fans of Guar, and they have all their shirts like in there in their closet of like all this was guar 99 you know at guar fest and oh it's got like the, it's like red and shit and it's funny <laughs> i took my girlfriend to a guar show and i was like oh, she knew she was like oh that sounds kind of fun like she's like it's a good sport she's like not really into metal but she's like oh that sounds fun and we go there it's in like november in oregon so it's like kind of cold it's cold as shit <laughs> and so we're wearing like our white shirts and we're like doing the whole thing and the second the show starts the, the they do this thing at the beginning of the show whoever the president is uh, at the time they have a fake president the fake president come out like a big fake head you know okay and they cut his head off it's like they did it with every president and so they cut his head off and they're they're spraying blood out of his head hole all over the crowd it's like they do it right when they come on oh and so we're we're standing there like way far in the back and because we're not trying to fucking get really sprayed you know yeah and uh, she's got like a drink and shit 
And she's like, oh, yeah. And then they cut the president's head off. We're laughing. And then just out of nowhere, this one giant whip of that blood just comes and smacks her in the face, dude. <sighs> right down. And it's ice cold. It's oh, ice God. cold, bro. And she was like, I'm at, we're out of here. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're leaving. Yeah. Oh, come on, baby. Don't wait, wait for the jizz. Come on, man. It hit me. No, it hit, dude, I'm a <laughs> pussy, too. It hit me, too. And hey, I was you like. You got to wait for the frozen jizz. Yeah, you got to wait for the fake jizz, honey. Come on now. <laughs> No, yeah, I I was even like I pussied out too. I got hit once, and I was like, I'm never coming back. Oh, that is, but it is it is funny though. Uh, My buddy that went on tour with them, he said, uh, like they'll they're doing like like script readings, like you know that sound check or whatever, and they're like, okay, they're like out of the cot, they're not in the costumes, they're normal people clothes. And they're reading off. They're like, okay, so this is where Jeff comes in with the fake dick and shoves it in, in uh, Larry's ass. And they're but they're like fucking locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the ass play. Don't dude. forget the ass play, dude. You have to cut the cock in half. <laughs> oh Hell my yeah. God, I had no idea they did all that. Oh, I mean, yeah, it makes they do sense. crazy shit. I mean, it makes sense. You got to do you crazy shit. Look when around you, at a couple of these things? when you're dressed like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when you're dressed like that, you can't play just like a normal set. You can't just no. These guys are fucking wild. Have you seen Necro Goblicon? You know who that is? No. Pull up pictures of Necro Goblicon. They oh, have is this, that the goblin guy? The little goblin yes, guy. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, because we were just—I mean, we were just high school dudes playing in a band. There wasn't anything. I wish we had a gimmick. This would have been cool. Mm-hmm. Yes, the goblin yeah, guy. Yeah, the goblin guy, dude. And he's a screamer or no? He does, I think, some vocals, but he's mostly, I believe, like a stage prop. Wow. And my buddy, my my friend I'm telling you about, he was they were touring with Guar and he was doing guitar tech work for this band. And so he actually ended up helping. He had to dress that little goblin up every day. Oh my God. <laughs> Put the little goblin head on him. Do you think there's like uh like metal band haters who are like, oh, these guys are just fucking gimmicks? I think so. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, for sure. Like they're like they're not even good. They're just There's, a gimmick. I mean, and metal inherently is such an elitist sport. I mean, that's why I have like one foot. Out. I like hanging out with you guys. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Which I get. There's elitism in comedy too, but for the most part, it's like we're all kind of in the shit. Yeah. To get you're all in the shit out there. We're all you know suffering at open mics and stuff at the beginning, and it's like it's. There's some camaraderie in that. There's less like, I don't know, maybe maybe there's more quiet haters, but it's like there's less genre elitism. Like I don't like I don't like uh, CJ's style. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's not real. He's right. not real storytelling. You know, there's right. none of that. In well, com- like he's not abs- real death metal. There's also just like absolute where it's like he crushes though. Yeah. Where it's like it's just like you get a bunch of laughs or you don't. Yeah. Whereas like this, it's like, I mean, the weirdest thing for me is like comedy fans. To me, it's like. I feel like with music, there's a lot of musicians that are fans. Yeah. You know what I mean? That are like, they play guitar too. Like maybe you like metal and you can be like, ah, that album stinks or whatever. You know what I mean? But it's like for somebody to just like be a comedy fan and then be like, that guy sucks. It's like, <laughs> that's kind of loaded. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I feel like it's like you can't, at a certain point, it's like you can't really speak on that. Mm. Like it didn't make you laugh. Mm-hmm. But does that mean it's not funny? I don't know. You yeah, I, mean? I get what you mean. Like, I, I feel, feel like comedy fans are. Weird. I feel like comedy fans is subjective. It can be like pretty. Uh, it, it depends on who. Also, like you could say, you could say, ah, oh, that guy sucks. But then, like all his fans also would like you too. It's like it's not really yeah. like it doesn't really matter. But I feel like for this, it's kind of like all right. They, they they really don't have any good songs. Like nobody knows their songs. <laughs> right. but everybody knows the Goblin. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it is a it. It, it's a gimmick, I guess, but it, it's it's in t- this one's an intentional gimmick, you know what I mean? Like, right? Like, you think Guar is intentional gimmick? Oh yeah, of course. But Guar is. is like the, I mean, they're so unique. Yeah, they're one of the only people to do, and the effort that goes into their show, dude. They've got yeah. like semi trucks full of fake jizz. Wait, you know what I mean? Like that they bring on the, <laughs> yeah. they gotta spray so much, you gotta jizz. ship it in, so much jizz. Uh, did they? Did they? Have they been doing it before Slipknot? I don't know. How long has Guar been around? Look it up. That's that's interesting. I wonder because it, it must have been going around the same time. I mean, it's uh, just yeah. Type in how <laughs> how long? Yeah, let's see. The origin. Oh, from Virginia. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That would have probably had it in there if you would have clicked. Or no, that's just the location. Just type in when did Guar form? Um. Just yeah, because I'm curious because. I mean, 1984, dude. Probably, wow. probably, dude. First wow. Slipknot. Look up when did Slipknot form? Yeah, because so I mean that's the first. 
that might be the first uh, bands of dress up like like that. I Let's mean, go. Wow. Gore was first. Gore was first, dude. Slipknot's hack. Slipknot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> kind of perfected it, though. They kind of. Well, Slipknot is serious, though. So yeah. Slipknot might have been the first, like, serious band to do that. Because right. Guar is silly. Okay. Like, Guar's music is... Like, Guar's music. I mean, come okay. On. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of the same thing you were saying about Necro Goblin. I don't mean to, you know, metal people will listen to this and like, yeah, stop. What are you saying? It's like, you don't like Guar's music, bro. Yeah. Tell me a Guar song. They just like the guys that dress up in the giant body armor and fucking, you know. Those guys look like... They're huge. They're on, like, like little stilt shoes, I think, or something. Really? They're, like... Eight feet tall. It's like cosplay. That's crazy. Yeah, it's fucking wild. You got it. We got to go to. I'll take you. We got to go to a Guar show. Next I'd love time, to go next to a time they show. pull up, let's go. God, I'd love to get. Take a bunch of comics, dude. Piss. Take comics and get fake jizz sprayed on them. That'd be great. <laughs> but yeah. So you were. How long were you doing the metal thing for? Before you were like, this uh, sucks. <laughs> I did it for two years. Yeah, it was. It, it sucked because uh, this is why it sucked. Um. I didn't mind the music. It was all right. Um, I felt like <clears throat> I was pretty good at writing it too. I was pretty good at writing like uh, metal music. Mm -hmm. I still play guitar, but uh, I was pretty. I was decent at writing metal. And uh, but the but the lugging around the fucking dude, shit. Stand amps, up is so low, man. This shit, it's so sick. Oh, dude, I was helping the drummer bring his drums uh, around. They all they everybody those idiots. Cause I had like a <laughs> yeah. Cause I had like a. Uh, like a, I had an old Forerunner, uh, like a '99 Forerunner. So you were the band, you were the band van. So yeah, I'd load up like the amps, and mm -hmm. the drums, but he had a truck too, so we put up the. But uh, but I'm just saying, like it would, it was just a lot of work. It felt like you were in a relationship with you know four other dudes. That's exactly what I said. And say then the too, money yeah. was the money was weird because yeah. like we didn't make, bro, we weren't we weren't making anything. We were yeah. making barely any money right but like 100 bucks if you're if with before t-shirts money would go missing oh, and yeah. then i was like who the fuck yeah and then we found out i think it was we still don't know really but i think it was the uh the the screamer guy which is even more fucked up he i mean he was doing the least amount of work he wasn't even moving shit he wasn't even learning an instrument bro <laughs> i know you're a screamer but come on dog you know how hard it is to learn an instrument he's just pimping you guys out dude. come on Funny. man you're going up there we don't even know what the fuck you're saying <laughs> and uh anyway so you know it, he got yeah he so i think he took stuff and he like took uh one of our bassist amps to like take to the house or whatever and it was it was weird man but there was like a lot of just like drama i remember just being a lot of drama and then we, we just kind of fell out after that but we we're i mean we had like we had shows where, you know, we would head like we were like have people open for us. What was your band name? Val High. Val High. Yeah, it was a street uh, in our hometown. Okay. Uh, Pull up a promo, dude. Let's see. I want to see CJ. Uh, I want to see CJ look at a metal. Did you guys take? No way. Did you guys take one of these? Oh, dude, dude a lot of graveyard shots. <laughs> How do you fun, spell dude. that? Just me standing on a uh, guys that died in the '80s. V A L H I. Dude, there's no way that they're gonna. And uh, then type band. in. Type in band. Uh, Louisiana. Oh, uh, yeah, Louisiana. Let's see if that uh, does anything. Uh, Go to images, maybe. Should be in images if there's anything. No, nah, there's nothing. You yeah. scrubbed it. Yeah, we never made it. <laughs> you scrubbed it, dude. We never made it. No, I, I'm surprised there's not, actually, but I guess. You don't have don't a Facebook know. page anymore for it from back no, in the day? No, I don't think so. Right. I think they got rid of the Facebook page. I didn't even I didn't even start it. The screamer did. He must have got embarrassed and took it down. Mm. We played in Louisiana on one of our last tours. We played at Gasa Gasa in uh, New Orleans. Have you been there before? Uh, no. Uh, we we played a lot in uh, we played one venue I think in New Orleans, but we played uh, mostly in my hometown and uh, neighboring towns. But uh, they had this uh, the venue that we played at a lot. I forget the name of it, but it was uh, they had a uh, God. What was that fucking? Name? It's like uh, God is. Um, it's not Cannibal something. Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse yeah. played it at once. Oh, nice. Uh, and so they they had like it, that's kind of I think that's what fueled the uh, the scene there it was like a lot of bands would kind of like come to these like little shitty venues yeah. and come play, and then uh, so like when we started playing at it, then like yeah we'd have like two hundred people at it. Hell yeah, it was crazy. Just people that came out from just high to school. see who. Oh, bunch for of friends yeah, came out to see you guys. Bunch of people from high school. That's dope. So you yeah. guys could have done something with it, but that sounds like there was there was bad politics in, internally. 
Yeah, the but band. there's also just like there wasn't really that commitment level where it's like there was a couple guys in the band that weren't really about that mm -hmm. life. Like they liked it. They there liked always to, seems to be. They like to generally. play the shows or whatever. But it was like, you know, they were in relationships or they were like right. there there were like a couple dudes that were in the uh private school and they like were uh like trying to you know really go to go to college be serious about the schooling and all that shit but so like we wanted i, I wanted to like travel like go play like venues like yeah. all over and like you wanted to really but they didn't get in the to, van yeah, they didn't you wanted to, to do the damn they thing so how did you d decide to go from comedy was there a break or go from from music to comedy because oh, like i did the i did break. the same thing i mean we're still doing music but it just for us dude it, some bands can just kind of crank shit out it just takes time for us and my band is still in portland the rest of the guys and so we We'll, you know, book a tour, meet up, rehearse, and go get on the road, or, like, uh, do, you know, they'll send me songs, and I record my shit, and we'll get it mastered and stuff, and release. We're about to start releasing music again. Wow. And, um, you know, it's just kind of, like, it, it's it's a slow-moving thing for me until it's not. Like, in, if we're, if we pop off and we're touring all the time, then it's wow. like, all right, well, then I got to reprioritize my shit. But, like, I want to get on stage. Yeah. I want to, I'm you know what I mean? And then I talk to Yonder, you know Yonder? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he did, does music and comedy too. And I yeah. had him on the podcast like right after I moved here, and he was like, "Just do it, pussy. You want to do it? Just do it." And I've been doing it, and I like it. And yeah, I that's fun. dope. Yeah, I, that's the other thing. I was writing all the music. Yeah, and so that was kind of a drag, and uh, people would like input shit. The only person that would, the only person that would really input anything was, uh, and I guess like I would, yeah, the bassist, but he was like not good at it. I would get like I, I would I was too. Like I knew what sounded good and what didn't, and sometimes people would would try to like, that's that, that's what I'm saying. Where it's like a relationship where they would try to input stuff, and I was like, I mean that's, that's booty cheeks. That's brother. just straight whack, bro. Yeah. I don't even know why you said that. Right. <laughs> like it was like that level of like, okay. What if we put an air horn uh, right before this breakdown? Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> the, well, the other guitar, like everyone didn't know anything about music theory, mm. and it wasn't like I was like a super music theory guy, but it was just like, you don't even know really what sounds right. Mm -hmm. like you're like you're not like it's like you're totally off the key completely like you're like suggesting things that don't even make sense that's so like that's, me and in, in my band my dudes are all like music they were musical prodigies when i met them when they were like 16 yeah. you know what i mean and i was like dude we gotta fucking get you guys we gotta get a thing going yeah, you guys yeah, are yeah. you guys are hot yeah you know and then every time i'm like what if we did this they're like stay in your lane bro yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah and the, the uh drummer too was like he was good but he wasn't really like he wasn't really like uh like dedicated you to gotta the be craft about of yeah, it. You gotta be really I mean, especially for metal, bro. I mean you gotta be dude. You can't be Lars up there, you know. You what gotta I'm be yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. You gotta do pull up some Lars. do we have can we get some shitty live videos of Lars you Ulrich right now? You can't be phoning Just pull it up in. Lars bombing or something on YouTube. You can't be phoning it in with Lars. But no, like he would he was all right, but he just wasn't like great. And also, Lars uh, fails. Oh, this is great. Failing compilation. Damn, that's when you know you suck when they got compilations. Oh, this is not live audio, though. We're going to get pulled. It's not? Oh, maybe it is. There it is. You can't really, I can't really hear it. I can't hear the fail here. What about this one? Lars can't. Here we go. Yeah, this is. Him <laughs> being so upset. Oh, man. Poor guy. What's wrong? What happened? Did you kick yourself? No, I, I, I can't. It's. It's, there's, it's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Now we. He plays. He plays. Here, cut it. He play, he plays he plays drums like somebody trying drum sets at at uh, uh, Guitar Center. Guitar you know center. what I mean? Like, can I get some sticks? And the and the guy behind the counter is like, Jesus fuck, I want to kill myself. I hate my life. The, the guys that worked in the drum department at Guitar Center oh. fucking hated their lives, dude. God. I never met a dude so that was at the drum department of Guitar Center that was in a good mood ever. I never yeah, met. Yeah, you could never go to work hungover as that guy. Oh my <laughs> god. 
you could never <laughs> love like, drums enough, dude, to be in that position where you're selling <laughs> drumsticks to like morons that don't know how to play drums, and like p guitarists and piano players are coming in. Like, let's just play, let's just smack around on the well, drums that we're never gonna buy. Yeah, it's kind of funny to you like just set up like the drum kit that's like the showcase drum mm -hmm. drum set. And you like just put new heads on it, and then there's just some idiot that comes in there just blasting them. You're like, fuck! And he's and playing damn like, damn it, I just tuned those. <laughs> and he's like, he's not playing anything. Oh my God, dude. It's the worst. Guitar Center employees are probably bottom of the bit. Like, I mean, I've no, some of my friends were at Guitar Center, so, you know, not you guys, but but no, you guys suck too, actually. <laughs> fuck you guys. But the, the Guitar Center employees just generally at that character is such a, such a drag, dude. Guitar Center employees are like the worst. Yeah, they, well, I, I like this guitar place that, uh, Guitar shop, they, I think it was, uh, what is it called, CM Music or something? Uh, I was in my hometown. They had some pretty cool dudes there. But, yeah, it was like a smaller shop. They didn't have any, I don't think they had any, ever had any, like, a full drum kit set up. Honestly, the drum kits would kind of fucks it up. But, yeah, that, I've been to guitar centers where, like, or, or just music stores in general, though, where they don't let you play the guitar. They're like, oh, no, you don't, you don't let yeah. you, like, touch them. They look you up and down. They're like, in. you don't have the bull. You don't have those chops, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't, you <laughs> well, they just, like, don't want you to play loud, or they don't want right. you to play in the... And I get that, but, like, it's also, like... They don't want you to on, play Stairway. Come on, dude. I'm trying to rip some Metallica real yeah. quick. I love playing Metallica. They're, <laughs> they're all dudes that are in, like... They're in local bands, and they just can't... They can't get ahead. They can't figure oh, it yeah. out, you know? They're just, like, so salty. You they're, come you come in there, and you're like, yeah, we got a show, dude. I need to get a fresh set of strings. And they're just like, fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, like, the saltiest musicians work at music stores. That's true. Am I wrong, know. Tony? Come on, dude. They're the worst. They would always put their uh, show flyers on the door, too. <laughs> Nobody's going, they bro. Would, they would put Nobody's their show going. flyers on the door. <laughs> It's only musicians that are shopping there. Nobody's going to your show. Do you think you're gonna get my mom when she's in there getting yeah, guitar picks for Christmas? It's musicians and uh, and uh, marching band moms going in there mm -hmm. getting their kids uh, their fucking reeds. Their, their reeds. Flutes. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what that was called. Reeds. Did you ever play any band instrument? Where did you ever do band? Oh man, dude, this is embarrassing, man. Then tell it, dude. I. Uh... <sighs> I joined the band when I was in eighth grade, and uh, it's like the worst time to join because everybody's already been doing it for fucking four years. When you're in the eighth grade? Yeah, because everybody's, you know, once you join the band in eighth grade, everyone that's in that bitch has already been doing it since yeah. the third grade, second grade. Stunting on you. So they've been playing for a long time. So then you go, oh, you know, you saw you saw Nick, Nick Cannon's drum line once, and you're <laughs> like, oh, I want to be on the drum line. And then they're like, K guy, <laughs> we already have a full drum line, dumbass. Yeah. Everyone's been like, this is, they're seniors. On here's this hot fucking. cross buns, learn that. Yeah. And then they go, here's uh, the bells. Starch on the bell. <laughs> <laughs> you work your no, way up dude. the bass drum. CJ Bells. And then I you? played the bells for, oh, no. uh, yeah, a year in. Uh, you played it for a year? That was horrible. <laughs> I would have been out of there, dude. I would have been like, hell no. I played the bells and, uh, God, there are so many embarrassing stories, man. Uh, I thought I would, you know, because I watched American Pie. I thought I was going to, you know, get, pussy get some camp. pussy at band camp. And, uh, yeah, they, it turns out, yeah, if you play the bells, you don't go to band camp because uh, <laughs> there is no marching and there is no uh, sheet music. So you just you just go out there and they're, they're just, they, You just they, hit they, it they when can, it feels right? Yeah, they can pretty much sum up your fucking job in a, in a day. So they don't yeah. really need you to go to band camp all summer. So... I didn't even go to band camp. You didn't even get to go to band camp. Didn't even get to go to band camp. Imagine band you camp. did, though, and you were just, like, flexing, like, what's up, bitch? I play the bells, you know. What's up? Let me play them bells, man girl. Man scales, man of scales and percussion. <laughs> uh, some people do percussion. Some people do scales. I do both, babe. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, and then, um, yeah, dude, and then I, I, I remember this one time. Oh, my God. This was, this was whenever I was like, all right, it's time to hang up the bells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I fucking dude, we played at this stadium. It was a stadium at it was Lafayette uh, uh, College, and there was like on the and the you know it was, it was you're competing against all the other marching bands. It's like our like showcase. It's like what we prepare for all year, pretty much. And uh, it's like when they judge us, it's like a, you know it's sort of like a, a competition style. And so each band has to come onto the field. They have a trailer with all their shit. 
they unload all their instruments and then they enter onto the field. Well, I get, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm like trying, I need help to pull my shit off because my, my shit's like on a stand. It's like kind of heavy. So I pull the bells off. All the bells fall off the, <laughs> fall off the, the, the board of the bell. The How bell. many bells were there? Oh, it's like a full, it's like a key. It's like a piano full of like, it's like, yeah, like keys. Like, you know, the bells where it's like, it's like a xylophone, you... but it's metal. Okay. I don't think I've seen that. <sighs> Dude. And so they just all fall off. Can you look it up, Tony? Marching bell, xylophone, keys. Yeah, and so so you dropped like a piano of keys, and I had to put or them. Bells. I had to like piece them back together of like trying to remember. Like, okay, that's the big C. That goes maybe a G. Oh, dude, is horrible. Yeah, that's them, right there. All of them f- fell out right there. All the keys fell out. Yep. All oh, the keys fell off the, no. the board. Yeah, dude. You're doing math. You're t- you have a measuring tape. You're oh, like, I'm you're just, trying to just like, okay, line them up. Is it minor? I'm like I'm like pulling up to my hair, trying to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> and it's loud because they're fucking. <laughs> it's dude, in the stadium. I mean, bro, it's crazy. Bro. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm talking like in front of like 400, 500 people. Just oh my all God. just and watching just me. Watching you oh bomb, my dude. God, just you're, bombed so you're hard. Bombed with the bells, brother. Oh, so bad. <laughs> And I, I quit. This guy shortly Bell's after that. palsy. What's going on? With I quit shortly <laughs> after that. I didn't even have sheet music. The guy would just point at me when I was time to <laughs> fucking ring him. He was all <laughs> right there. <laughs> Bing. He's like, "That's flat. You're an idiot. We're I done was, with you." I was, I, I was standing there the whole time like this because we have to. We had to like stand with them with like the little sticks, like mallets, little cross, <laughs> waiting for the. He was the lamest shit. <laughs> Dressed like a fucking Power Ranger. The marching band, the marching band outfits we had was so lame, dude. I swear Full to God. Marching band outfits. I dude. swear to God, it was like it was like the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger uh, marching band. Look up, dude. I mean, all right. what's the call? What's the high put school? Put Vanderbilt. Uh, type in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marching band. Do uh, V A N D E. Uh, no, it's all one word. V V A N D E. I'm trying, B-I-L-T. Yeah, Vanderbilt. Do that. God Images. Damn, bro. Nah, not Vanderbilt. Just Vanderbilt. Look at that shit, bro. Looking <laughs> like a fucking... Nah, that's that's actually Vanderbilt. That might be... Maybe, it's, maybe it is Vanderbilt. I don't even remember what fuck. Oh, I yeah. think it's Vander, yeah. Nah, or no, it's yeah, Vander, this, Vanderbilt. This is, this is the Vanderbilt from, uh, from uh, Tennessee. This is the Tennessee. Those do look like the White Ranger, dude. Click on one of those, Tony. Go back up. That is. Go the, back up. Or yeah, that one right there. Look That's at that a- shit, bro. <laughs> Looking like a fucking Power Ranger. Look like a gay cowboy Power Ranger, dude. <laughs> I hated it, man. Rangers morph. And uh, so I was on the football team the same year. Yeah, halftime was a fucking after nightmare. the bell. After huh? the bell drop. After you dropped the bells. No, 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 no. So this that was like a band competition, but like okay. we would do like. You know, I would be so I wasn't good at football either. So I was on the I was on the bench on the football team, and I played the bells in the band, which was the bench for the band. <laughs> and I mean, it was horrible. I had to run from the fucking run from not playing football in the football game at all to run into the fucking locker room to put my band outfit on. No way! And then run out into the dude. You had the band. to rip your pads off. Oh yeah. Twist that little thing that never comes out. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm talking about oh, the, on the strap that never, I, it never comes out of there. Really, you gotta should, get your dad to do it. And I shouldn't even had the pads on because I, <laughs> God knows, I wasn't playing. <laughs> and so it was just a dumb. I mean, looking back, it was just sad. It was like, what was I even? It was just like, what are you it's, doing? It's brother. It's, you don't even know who you are. It's all for this right here for stand up. <sighs> yeah. So you can you can make these jokes, those experiences. You had to live them so you can be as funny as you. Sad. And then I, <laughs> and then you know you're at football practice. Everyone's calling you a fucking pussy, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, hey, play the bells again, brother." Like, pussy, you suck. And then I would go to the band, and then like actually, I'd be a pussy in the band. Everyone's like, "Yeah, go play the bells." <laughs> How can you pussy. be the pussy of the band? Dude? Yeah, because you're playing bells, and everyone's on the drum line. They're looking all cool. Like, look, that's the coolest looking guy in band. That's what that guy is. <laughs> Look at that guy. You looked gayer than him. That's the coolest looking guy. Imagine him having bells in front of him. That's a, <laughs> that so dude, you were wearing them too, dude. I didn't even think about that for some reason. I thought <laughs> yeah, they were yeah. on a, you had them on a stand. That would make <laughs> yeah, sense. Yeah. You were walking around with them. <laughs> oh, no, you yeah. had a sh- little xylophone oh, no. on you. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That's hilarious, dude. Um, Worst year of my life. Worst year of your life. I, eh, that's up if, there. It's if it makes you feel better, I, I, I felt out of band too. I... I played the trump. I played the trumpet, and it was so bad. My lips were always burning. Oh, I hate you know that. what I mean. Yeah, the trumpet's this hard. Doing that all the time, it fucking sucks. 
Oh, and I can it, play and you have spit everywhere. Yeah. There's spit all uh, over your house and all over your shit. You're like, what yeah, this looks paper? Like a look, my sheet music. My sheet. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah, my sheet music is covered in. It's. It's looks like it's been wet and then dried. Yeah. Like, why, what is this? Oh, it's from the spit valve on my fuck. You have to blow the spit. It's just disgusting. Band is terrible. It's a shame I didn't play a uh, trumpet. I'm a great mouth trumpeter. Yeah. Amazing mouth trumpet. Can you do it? No, what do you mean? Oh, no, dude. I'm not that good. Holy shit. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> CJ Landry. <laughs> and, and it's a shame because <laughs> really I, I'm like really good at mouth trumpet. Far better than I'll ever be at real trumpet, even if I tried. Because I mean, dude, I can, I could, I could take requests mouth trumpet. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. Uh, I'm like that good. Can I get? Uh, yeah, here we go. Can I get? Ain't no love in the heart of the city. You know that song? No. Ain't no okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know any so song. I can't do that. You're like I take requests. I just only know. <laughs> I, know I only know what song. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Can't take requests. I only know yeah, any yeah, song. Yeah. I don't know. Give me one. Whatever you want. Uh, whatever comes to mind. Dude. Oh, there you go. Oh, give me like Amazing Grace, maybe. Uh, That's a gonna, tough one. That is a tough one. I'm trying to even think how it goes. <laughs> the oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That legitimately pretty is pretty amazing, honestly. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I've been practicing a lot. Pretty good useless skill, dude, pretty to have. Pretty good. I've <laughs> yeah. been practicing a lot. And I never can't find a way to bring it up in a bit. Can, yeah. I have no bit that has it in it. I want to do something. I, it's like the, the bit should be on stage, should be how I don't know how to bring it up. But yeah. I want to. Like yeah. on a date or something. Just I'm be like, honest I about really it. I really want to. Bring them. I want to bring it up on a date. Hey, hey, girl, what's your favorite song? I bet I could play it with no instruments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, what's your favorite song? I bet I could play it with no instruments. She's like, uh, I don't know. I really like Bad Bunny. <laughs> like, Fuck. I really like Despacito. That's oh, what. Really oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, you got it. I would need like. I, I thought it would be a funny bit to just bring like a fake uh, or or a real. Trumpet. A little like, toy. Yeah, I, can, a little toy. I, can, I can play trumpet and just, just hold yeah, it just up. <laughs> It's like a ventriloquist uh, <laughs> yeah, act, yeah, but yeah, just yeah. <laughs> the good a hacky musician. Jeff Dunham thing, but That's with a toy trumpet. That'd be great. So funny. No, you'll figure it out, dude. That's yeah, good. I want to bring it up. It's hard. It's like uh, it's funny. It's just like I don't know how to bring it up. I have shit like that in my notes too. That I'm like, man, it's that one thing is funny. How yeah. do you make the rest of getting there and after? Oh yeah, funny, dude. And call it back. I mean, oh yeah, God, I'm figuring. Awesome. Out. I'm trying to figure all that out. I'm in, the, I'm in my training wheels, learning phase right now. I'm just a young boy, just a young lad out here, dude, in the streets. Yeah, sometimes callbacks can be kind of lame. It's like if you, yeah, it's got to feel too, natural. Yeah, because if it's too like. Uh, yeah, remember when I said that? And then I went to Burger King, and everyone's <laughs> like, "Oh, he said Burger King. He said Burger King earlier." Fake jizz. It's just kind of you know, like, like eh, it's the like Yeah, it's it's it can be it's it's such a fine line with all this comedy stuff I'm finding mm -hmm. out. Like, what's hacky, what works, what makes people laugh, and not. Yeah, even like even like simple uh, misdirection sometimes make me feel like lame. Yeah. Uh, because if it's too like. Just simple of a joke, even to tell. Sometimes I'm like, all right, it's kind of corny. It's weird, man. Yeah, you got, this is hard. You got any football? A lot harder than the fucking bell. <laughs> tell you that. You got you got any football bomb stories like the bells where you dropped the, dropped all the bells? Did you do anything oh, lame in the football dude, practice oh or like? God. Did you get smacked one time? Super yeah, hard? Well, we had this like uh, we had this drill that they got actually outlawed like uh, a <laughs> few years later, I think, because they call it uh, I think it was called bull in a pin. <laughs> And it's like where they, it's the whole team surrounded like in a circle around this one guy, and uh, and and then and the coach just calls out a number, and then that number wherever the fuck he is in the circle just comes layer ass out in the middle. Oh, it's like to like get you ready to be hit head any, on a swivel. Any moment. Oh, okay. Are you supposed to dodge him or just eat bowl it? in the ring? That's it. Are you supposed to dodge it or just eat it? Like eat the hit. Look, this is a great drill for uh, both. Uh, yeah, 2009. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a little different than mine. Watch, go back. 
Go no. back to the last one, the last page. Yeah, yeah, the the one above it. That's what it. That's what it is. Yeah, look at this, Coach Youth. Look, look. Hi, and welcome look. to another great. There's a bunch of guys around you. I want to find a. I want to find a real video of it. This is crazy, <clears throat> though, bro. Look at that shit. I don't want the John Madden version. You know what <laughs> I mean? John like, Madden. What are you do here? With the with the little uh with the ambulance that comes out. Wiener, wiener. Oh my. But you got yeah. laid out in a bull oh, in the ring. Oh, does this look? Does this look right? Yeah. Team Blasters, all you runners, oh, yeah. Team Blasters, all you runners. See, there's usually oh, a lot, yeah. lot more dudes around here usually. Dude, we are not built for this. <laughs> No, this is crazy. This is like what? It's so weird when they get like hyped up about this too. That's a, that's the main thing with me in football. I just lost motivation to do it. You're like, all right, what do we? It's like, yeah, yeah but none this of us is, are going this is to stupid. the. stupid. No one, no, no one's going to college for football. There, like, there was always like what? one dude. Here, just. Oh, okay. Is this kind of it? Yes. Okay. But usually they lay you out. See, they're not laying people out. Though. Right. This is, Co were, coach just wanted to watch you boys get hurt. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> they want. They were like, lay the fuck out. I remember one time we were doing this drill where you would basically like one guy was running diagonal and you were running at him uh, to tackle him. Like basically, like if he was catching a pass or whatever on like a, a slant or something, and uh, he he would like he pull me aside. He's like, I want you to picture him as someone you hate. Jesus Christ! Someone you completely despise he's like who's that person i'm like my math teacher <laughs> he's like picture her. <laughs> picture her running in, picture her running in the pads <laughs> fucking layer she looks good doesn't she it gets <laughs> she all weird good. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. looks good in those pads doesn't she <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean that's how you want all women to dress isn't it <laughs> <laughs> tag and bag boy <laughs> Yeah, and put her I, in the dirt. I, I remember like smoking the fuck out of that kid, though. <laughs> that was your one oh, good dude. hit. I was like, "Fuck you, Kathleen!" <laughs> yeah, <Suck yeah>. it. <laughs> Mrs. Chrysler. <laughs> Just smoked her, dude. Yeah, I'm sick. not built for football. I was never. I mean, I was built. I was fat kid. I was built for football for sure, physically. Yeah, you're but mentally, I was like, I want to be playing Final Fantasy right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, why are we doing this at all? God, you're I'm a Final only, Fantasy I'm like, guy? I'm only doing, well, I mean, I, you know, just whatever. Yeah, I was, I played Final Fantasy X. I played the only Kingdom Final Hearts, which is like, like the Kingdom gayer Hearts. version. That is the gayer Final version. Fantasy. I liked it more. Literally Disney. <laughs> I liked it more too. Disney dude. version of yes. like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You're not down for the real sword fight. You want Mickey Mouse involved. Yeah, they're like, how do we make these Final Fantasy kids even gay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> how do we, the J Japanese, so were like, funny. what do we do to make them, <laughs> to further destroy the American youth? Yeah, dude. I mean, it was a fun game. I had a good, I mean. I, I loved it. I uh, I did play a lot of games. I feel like that's kind of was my alley, too, where mm -hmm. it was like, I don't know. I just didn't really like football because, like I said, it was like usually one, one. And you, we all knew him. We all knew the one guy. It's like, all right, he is. I mean, yeah, he has the best chance right. of uh, making it anywhere. Going to college. Yeah, because yeah. like even guys that were like pretty good still like wasn't uh, like he needed to be like a guy that was just fucking lighting it up. That's what's kind of like, crazy right. about sports is it's like y you could say the same kind of thing for like being a comedian or being in a band. You know what I mean? Like right. you're like you're probably never gonna do anything great with this. It's probably never gonna work out. Mm -hmm. But like sports is just so much so much more of a lottery it's even harder it's like ten thousand times harder it's like oh, the, yeah. the, the there's only like 0. 0.001 percent of people well, ever go to co even college and play at well, college level. yeah especially with music now you can fucking you know you can just kind of pop on tiktok and be a right. famous touring whatever yeah. but like you know me, uh, you know sports it's like pure it's pure meritocracy where it's like you you have to be the best you and have to be the look. fastest you have to be you know what i mean like yeah. you just uh, like just stats wise there's no subjectivity there's no, really no like oh, i really like the way he runs yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he runs real nice so i like it's my style it's my favorite style of running around <laughs> just the horny scout yeah. <laughs> like yeah i love the way his hands look when he grabs that ball yeah. god damn it, he's on my team yeah. oh yeah let me get him Oh my god, dude! Look at those thighs. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Creepy coaches just only drafting for looks, dude. That's a, that's a good bit. That's a good one. Oh my god! Well, I thought I look I at the way to, his girdle goes on. That dude. used to be a bit of mine for the. Uh, it never worked, but 
Yeah, uh, that used to be a bit of mine for the because uh, I don't know if you ever seen the lingerie football league. <laughs> no, I was like, what do those scouts look like? Like, <laughs> good God, look at that bra on her. Woo-hoo. Lingerie football league? No, <laughs> you've never seen lingerie football league? No. Oh, pull it up. Pull it up. Laundry Football League is Antonio. No we're only shit. calling him Antonio today. I know. You came hard at him. Such a you, you, came, you came at him so hard oh. as soon as you walked in. You're oh. like, you gave him the, the squint eyes. You were like, you don't look like a Tony. There is a lot of Tony's. Why do you why do you go by Tony? That's there's, stupid. Go by Antonio. It's a thing. Antonio's a cooler name. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at this. I watched a lot of this uh whenever football wasn't happening during the pandemic. I would me click and on my a couple boys, of these, go through them, Tony. Me and my boys would watch full games of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I mean, some of these bitches. It's like, you remember Powder Puff? Did you guys have Powder Puff yeah, football yeah. team? It's like that, but like grown up and That's adult right. sexy. And hornier. And hornier, even hornier. Powder Puff is kind of weird, though. So this, yeah, is, get the girl so this is the funny thing about this league. Uh, so they uh, they were called Laundry Football League. Uh, and you, this is how you know that uh, there was a man that owns this organization, if you didn't. <laughs> figure that this before. isn't a woman-owned business yeah if you didn't figure that before <laughs> this is how you can definitely tell this was a, this was a man on it it's the biggest man move of all time so they were getting a lot of a lot of slack for it being uh lingerie football league being the name right mm-hmm. a lot of people being like this isn't you know whatever whatever feminism whatever and he's like all right all right all right we'll call it legends football league <laughs> so they changed the name kept the uniforms up <laughs> <laughs> kept the, you know, like, okay, we're, still gonna keep the we're gonna meet you a quarter of the way. Laundry is expensive, <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah, exactly. uh, we got a lot of these already, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna make this work for another couple seasons. <laughs> is this thing still around? Now it's this... called X Football League. And they still uh, so do. They the... kind of went back to porn, kind of. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> like, like, like triple X football, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Women's X. football for boys. Rated X football. I wanna um, know who the sponsors of it are, like fucking. Pantax or something, right? You know well, I mean? It's funny too, cause, cause so it's X, and they're like, okay, it's kind of still porn, but they're like, no, no, no X means extreme. You're like, okay, <laughs> extremely, <laughs> extremely <laughs> horny, slutty, <laughs> extremely slutty. Um, yeah, it's weird, dude. I mean, they they got some athletes on. If this you're thing, a, if you're a dude, like you know, like the way that guys are into football. I don't know if you do you watch football and like it a lot. Like, I'm not even yeah. one of those. I'm not even really one of those guys. I'm getting I back def- into it because Texas is so football. I definitely but, watch football, but I don't. Uh, I, I I try. I, it's hard to keep up with all year, but I definitely watch it. But imagine a, uh, a your home. Your we have one kind of weird homie. Yeah. You know, I, I watches a lot of porn. You know what I mean? Like you know this guy. Like you know, and you don't he's, watch regular football. But yeah, he, he's but he's diehard. He does fantasy X. Yeah. He's a fantasy X leaguer. And he's like, dude, Daphne's gonna have a great season, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> Daphne Carmichael, she's gonna have, dude. You know, her dad was on the bench for the for the Raiders. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's gonna have a great season this year. And you're like, dude, this, you're, this is cr- disgusting. Why are you so into this, dude? No, no, it's not about the tits, guys. If you really sit down and watch the sportsmanship, uh, yeah, I, that uh, is hilarious. I, uh, I had, the, but yeah, the bit was like, uh, just like a, a lingerie football league scout, where it's like a, it's like the combine. <laughs> it's like the combine where it's like, all right, ladies, uh, <laughs> line up. Not enough enough people know what this uh, is. Uh, all right, now turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to see what you look like from the back. Yeah, we got to check it out. It's like it's just like the guys from like casting couch yeah, or, yeah. that are, but it's like they have coaches. It's just the, the coaches' most, headgear on. It's just the most scummy scouts where they're like yeah. they're, go, they're all the, all they're all having lunch at Twin Peaks. Yeah, strip club <laughs> owners. It's strip. It's like strip club auditions for football. All right, now take that paint that you got under your eyes and put it on your nipple. His wife's calling him. He's like, "Honey, I gotta look at the talent. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm passionate about my this work. This is my work. <laughs> you never support me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I've invested so many years in this. <laughs> Just watching the highlights. Uh, oh, dude. Oh no. He wants, and he's like, uh, it's like he's like an abusive football dad to his daughter. Yeah. You know, like you're gonna get, you're gonna go to practice. You know what I mean. <laughs> I got weird quick. All right. Uh, do the uh, do the da- do the halftime dancers are just dudes and assless chaps coming out? <laughs> Fucking. That's a good point. I don't know if there's cheerleaders. In this. <laughs> Your ex league. Dan- what, what's a team name? What's one of the team names? Type in team names. Um. Yeah, 
I forget there's like yeah there's like <laughs> Chicago star give it up you're <laughs> you're roughnecks dancers yeah they're like dude they're like cowboys coming out <laughs> ladies and gentlemen yeah, just Chippendale yeah it's crazy Texas has <laughs> two teams in this league and there's like there's like only nine or something it's like <laughs> Jesus Christ oh my god oh man what's the funniest one wildcats this, is pretty funny this might be the only female sport that doesn't have like some kind of like le like lesbian you know connotation to the play like it's like you know what i mean like everybody's kind of like oh softball players mm. right they're 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 dikey or whatever it's right. like this is like this is definitely the opposite of that as wildcats far as female is sports the, goes wildcats is the funniest thing yeah because it's like ooh, cat bite <laughs> or whatever it's like crazy <laughs> pussy but. give it up wildcats for your <laughs> But there is no. Like, what, are, what are their dancers called, dude? You're pussy cat dancers, and they're just dudes that come out in like cheetah print pants. I love it. Well, that's fun, bro. Yeah, I love the laundry football league. I watched like full games. I mean, they they would fucking. I mean, try to try to find a video of <laughs> like. A, you're that weird friend that watches too much porn and is, uh, is doing fantasy league. Try to find like hard hits. Do hard like, hits. <laughs> hard. Oh, hits, they actually like, hit each other. Oh too. yeah, they they it's full uh, contact. Oh, that's why people like it. Hell yeah. It's like the dead or alive. You remember that fighting game? It's like the only hot chicks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like dead or alive football. Oh god. Oh, turn this off. Turn the music off. Just turn the slider down. Yeah, the Bluetooth slider next. Oh, uh, this is so. Funny. Oh my god, they're drinking beer. This is dope. Oh yeah. This is dope. Boom. Oh nice. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, go back, go back a second to that one. She did a full varial body flip. Get the ref in the that's the thing they got walls too. It's like arena Wait, where's football. CJ's mic, dude? And you, you you tapped uh something. Yeah, it's like arena football where they got walls on the side. You yeah. know, so that's like called oh my god. Oh my lord. Boom. <laughs> so funny that it is funny. To get hit by Oh it. shit. They these girls are fucking checking these girls, dude. <sighs> oh my god. Oh that shit. It's so funny to be a ref it's on this. Intimidating. Oh, oh my god, they fight? They let oh, them fight yeah. like hockey too? Oh, yeah. oh, that's dude, that's so like Bud Light era, oh, like, yeah. you know, girls fighting in Vaseline or whatever, like the man show. Look type at her, shit. look at her. She twerked on oh, her no, head. Go, oh, I missed she twerked it. on her head, bro. She she ah, she teabagged her, dude. She literally twerked on her head, dude. It's so it. disrespectful. Oh. Watch this. <laughs> oh fuck. Man. Man, I might start. Well, I might become that friend. I might start watching this. Dude, you guys you want to come over for the game? <laughs> you throw this on. <laughs> fucking field streakers, too. That's I didn't hilarious. know there was football today. It's, it is Tuesday. You know, it's like. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. That's what's the beauty about YouTube. Football's every day. If you yeah, want it to be. And then true. the ref, uh, the ref, the refs are funny, too. Just like throwing a flag. Be like, uh, flag on the play. Uh, uh, 18's ass is too fat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm bricked up. Uh, flag on the play. <laughs> Uh, oh my God, dude. <laughs> Intentional touching my dick is hard. Yeah. <laughs> my wife is here. Flag on the play. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Really, coaches are crazy, man. Dude, this is a such a funny highlight reel. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh, <sighs> the injuries. Flag that's on crazy. the play. Uh, eight is a uh, PMSing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flag on the play. It's that time of the month. And, uh, number 19 is being a bitch. The injury reserve is just people on their period. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, great. Shit. Uh, that's great. Oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah. I wanted to ask you about something because I've only been to New Orleans one time. And uh, I know you're not from New Orleans, but you're yeah. from Louisiana. So I've been to New Orleans. It's all the same to me. No, Mom lives kidding. there. Um, I've been told about these New Orleans scam things. Mm. Is that a thing? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like the street, mm -hmm. like the one that always comes up is the like somebody asking about your shoes. And yes. I guess I've I've never gotten a good explanation of like it's that. Quick. And so I want to know about that one, and then if there's any other ones. That okay, you know. so the exchange is quick. Uh, the exchange is quick. It's it's like where he's he's like, uh, I bet you I know where you got your shoes at. Okay, and, and what am, what do and, I usually and say? And like you're like, uh, okay whatever and he's like i bet you i bet you five dollars i know where you got your shoes at and then you're like okay and then he's like on your feet five dollars oh, and yeah, then yeah, they'll yeah. like beat your ass and then well no people will be like oh all right you know they're just like they just mm -hmm. it's just tourists that they just like kind of but then if you're scheming. like i'm not giving you the five bucks then it gets a little weird 
Uh, maybe. I don't really know. It's never really happened to me to, where, to that extent. But it's usually just kind of like a joking okay, thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's never like really a threatening thing. Uh, a lot of lot of prostitutes. Yeah. A lot of prostitutes there. They're pretty obvious, too. Uh, that's another one. Scams, though. Scams, I mean, as far as coming up to you, there's a lot of guys that do like the, uh, where they got the, uh, they like the bottle cap with the little hats where it's like they can like, got to keep an eye on it <coughs> right and yeah. they're scamming they, they they like they like throw the cap underneath the table you can't at some get it point. right yeah, yeah it's yeah. like a fair game right so that they, 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 there's a lot of that there's a lot of um uh oh this was funny this made me laugh last time because it was it was like a, a magician that was like on uh i think it was like bourbon or maybe frenchman but he set up shop and he was just doing like a bunch of magic tricks and i'm like dude a, a magician in new orleans is that's brave as fuck, dude. I mean, it's just all, it just, it, I mean, I'm not even kidding. He was surrounded by like 20 black dudes, like, what the fuck? They're all just like, oh, they're all like, fuck that, fuck that. They're all like, just yelling at him. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so that was really funny last time I was there. There's a lot of homeless people, too, and the homeless is, the homeless are like, Man, they're, they're 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 I'd say they're just about as sketchy as Austin's, but they they have like a, a you know a lot of them have skills. Mm -hmm. None of the homeless out here really got skills. Yeah, uh, they have like a lot of it's the like, same in Portland too. A lot of street performers, mm -hmm. and they all do different swallowing shit. swords and shit. Yeah, they, well, I remember <laughs> this one guy. This was funny. They had this one guy who uh, he he was he was doing like flame trip. I mean, it was pretty impressive. He was doing like a lot of like like pirate like I guess I don't remember what they called them. But like breathing like, in fire or yeah like yeah like blowing gas fire. or blowing gas and then like has like a flaming torch he like swallows it and then like it's out or whatever yeah and uh i guess you know he was like in city it was like a city park in new orleans and and uh and uh i remember just like watching him what like i was like i don't remember i was like with my mom or something i was watching him and then out of nowhere some like security cop like pulls up out of nowhere and like told him to get in the back like you can't do this here blah blah blah. you can't just be a homeless guy and blowing fire yeah, around yeah, buddy. And it, was like, <laughs> it was crazy because he had like all this like fire shit yeah. you know he had like a, he had like a water bottle full of gasoline <laughs> like, and, like, and, like, it's like the worst guy to couple torches and he's like ah, fuck. <laughs> and he like gets in the back of his golf cart and we're all like watching them like get carted <laughs> away and then he goes stay in school kids <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like the saddest oh, he got part. arrested oh yeah it was like the saddest part of my day i was like damn dude he luck we're lucky they're lucky Sad. he went quietly yeah you know what i mean like he could have been like back <laughs> yeah, just like, back away just like a you know, fire yeah, yeah, from yeah, exactly. <laughs> his like you know like in a video game when like the cut scene is over and yeah. then like the boss's life bar goes so you know what funny. i mean yeah. bum, 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 bum. and you have to like fight his ass and you're like oh my god his life bar is so long fire attack yeah <laughs> 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 oh man yeah dude it was crazy dude and uh, like there's a lot it's a lot of guys with like uh there's also like it's pretty impressive they have a lot of tap dancers where they have okay. uh yeah it's like all these like street kids or they got like um they'll have like squished you know how, like when you when you like press a can down on the ground like with your foot or it like smashes a like a coke can mm -hmm. and it's flat they have kids out there that they like they like nail or i guess like staple or tape or something like flat cans to their to the bottom of their shoes oh whoa and then they're like tap dancing it's on like post-apocalyptic tap dancers yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and they're like ripping it tink -a -tink 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 -tink. yeah they're like really good <laughs> and then there's kids like with drum they, they do like uh the buckets they got like oh yeah the buckets like, drum buckets are <laughs> drum buckets are are overplayed drum buckets are done oh stop, yeah stop bad. doing drum buckets it's not good just stop it's not good but some of them are creative like they have like all kinds of different sizes and they got little little lids that can yeah. they can make symbols or something but in portland there's a there's drum bucket guys that just they just go out into the middle of the street in the middle of the night and they just hit a drum one one drum just over and over and over and oh over again all night while you're trying to sleep dude <laughs> jesus christ it's like the fuck can somebody get the kid, arrest the fucking drum guy yeah i feel like homeless in portland though has got to be pretty easy no. These people are so nice. No, no, wow, no. But they're like well, a lot the of thing, activists. The thing is, there. is, and I'm trying to work a bit into this with with with. Uh, it's it, it's teetering a line, but it's like the the homeless in Portland are white. 
mostly. Wow, so and, no and, love for them. And well, white I think is the worst flavor of homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like you might get like from like a black homeless guy might tell you like a good story. He might have a funny joke or like right. say you have you have a nice day or something like that. You might you there's possibilities of having good interactions with a black homeless dude. Right. But I feel like a white homeless guy that's the worst flavor. They're always it's a, it's meth. It's dreadlocks. Right. They 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 run it. Ah! They yeah, run yeah. at you. Yeah. You know what I mean? They run at you. <laughs> yeah. Like the, it's they're they're the they're the ghouls of the I feel of, like they just the homeless also world. just don't get respected. Cuz they had like cuz it's like there's there's like privilege. It's like, you know, people have the like they they claim that they got white privilege and then they still lost the game. Yeah, that's I mean that's pretty bad. <laughs> so like I feel like that's kind of where like, you know, in Portland you probably would get more love as like a black homeless guy, you know, people would True. There's a lot of activists well, out yeah, there, the, but if you're like a white homeless oh, guy, it's like no You love. mean you mean it's good place to be homeless because people are so nice in Portland? Is that what you what you mean or well, like you just, mean the homeless people are nice? Well, there's a lot of communists out there. Let's be real. Yeah, no, I I get what you're saying now. I thought you were saying like the homeless people acted nicer and no, were better. No, no. Okay, you're saying people in Portland are nicer to the homeless. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. A thousand percent. So that's what I'm saying. Being homeless in Portland oh, dude, must be pretty cake. Oh, it's, that's why there's so many of them there. Yeah. yeah. And so they'll they'll they literally will like get in a they'll get in an argument and <clears throat> they'll burn the other one's tent down. And you can literally just go to there's a shop in the middle of like e, the east side. And I don't know if they still do this, but they would usually they we have a tent program where it bring us your charred remains of your tent and we'll give you a brand new you know uh, mammoth brand whatever yeah. you know a Coleman a brand new Coleman tent. Yeah, dude, there just be. I would be. I had a the last apartment I lived in. I had like a, like a rooftop balcony thing, and you could just see like the different areas of the city that were on fire each day. There was like, oh, there's a nice fire going from, uh, you know, under the Burnside Bridge. You know, it's great. <laughs> yeah. And dude, there was whole. When I left, I haven't been back in a year. When I left, there was like, I have. I've heard it hasn't gotten much better, but there's like actual. They get like. The the, port, the 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 community members or whatever will be like you know we need to help these people and instead of like really helping them they just make their living situation wherever they are under whatever bridge more nice oh, and okay. so they went and like built these little like shacks it looks like fallout like the the game you know what i mean like where yeah. they have those little shacks people like build like little makeshift they went <laughs> and made little like little wooden shacks for them to live in they're just living in this little you know park of shacks and it's like and it always it, it gets cleaned up and then it gets bad again yeah you know what i mean and it just they just because they just throw trash everywhere yeah and it's so well a lot of them do they just want to do drugs and so uh that's kind of what they you know it don't yeah. really matter where they can where they live or what you set up for them they kind of they I mean, and they know, can do they drugs in Portland. Do Fucking, they're all like, it's all decriminalized there. Yeah. So a bunch, when that happened, a bunch of people got on a bus and were like, "I'm getting out of Texas." Yeah, like, they going, hopped a train. I'm going, I'm going to Portland, straight to Crackville. <clears throat> and it's crazy because they like disguised that. It was like you were saying that, like you know, fucking communists. But it's like those people out there. Like they disguise the lawmakers disguised it. They were like, "Hey guys, you know that marijuana program we have? All the tax money, the hundreds of millions of dollars we're raking in with marijuana tax money." And we're yeah. like, "Yeah." And like, what if we took some of that money and we built state-of-the-art facilities to help the homeless get rehabilitated? And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, it's fucking awesome. That's great." And then there, the, everybody voted for that. And then come to find out, there's like a little thing in the fine print that's like, "Oh yeah, and all drugs are legal." And you're like, "Wait, wait a minute." <laughs> And then, and then they took the money from that, and they never finished building those facilities. And then the whole deal was that if you got caught with crack or anything on the street, you get a hundred dollar ticket. And it's like they don't have ticket; they don't have money to pay tickets. Yeah, yeah. So the or so you can either pay the ticket or you can voluntarily go to a the facility. Oh. And so like that's the that's where it's at right now. Wow, and it's it's fucked. So there's no facility for them to voluntarily. I don't know if they end up ended up finishing mm. it, but I just know that the word at one time on the street was that they never actually they pocketed a lot of that money and didn't didn't build a lot didn't finish a lot of those. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was funny too. I I, uh, I was playing. I mean, you see it all the time. I guess you know homeless people doing funny things, but it was pretty funny to me. Just like uh, I was like walking to my car uh, downtown and uh, I saw a guy. It was like in an alley. One guy was like uh, eating, I guess, like just like eating on like the, like on the one side of the alley, and then the other side, <laughs> there was a guy. He, he kind of reminded me of like that uh, that meme from like Always Sunny, where he's like in front of like a board, and he's like, yeah, yeah. 
and he has like he's like writing something on the fucking wall of like this fucking back of this business or something and he's like he's like writing this thing and he's like and this right here he goes over here and the left side on this side oh, yeah, they don't agree with this side and like and then, and then this guy's just like sitting there like watching him like damn that, that's that guy's youtube right yeah, there. he's like it. watch this guy just go full blast debate mode on you're himself. like shit if my phone was dead i'd sit right next to him <laughs> yeah because it's pretty <laughs> fascinating he seems very fucking passionate and you're like trying to hack what he's saying like you're trying to figure out yeah. decode what he's <laughs> yeah, saying you know so angry whatever the fuck's going on it is it is kind of funny when they yell at each other and stuff and like you know oh, yeah. like uh ridley i don't know if you saw that video he posted a while back of like this girl was just going give me my money marshall give me my money marshall and it's just like i love that the no context yeah. shit that homeless people are screaming dude uh sixth street during the day is a wild place oh it's it's like it's crazy it's literally it's post-apocalyptic dude the smell <laughs> the smells, smells in the day because the thing is like uh during the day it gets so hot and then like it's just cooking whatever the fuck is on the the semen out there <laughs> the, the, it's the, all the shit the six streets and, the six street scrum uh, the, the, the fucking all the trash juice from all the, the gravy the, 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 oh, the homeless, the homeless gravy cooking out there and then you walk around and you're like god you get smell it yeah. I mean, people say New Orleans is smelly. Uh, a lot of people say that, and uh, I agree. But it's sticky. That's how I, I describe yeah. it as kind of sticky, like just the the weather in New Orleans. I don't uh, want to talk about the weather, but no. it's a, like the one time we went there, we were we parked in like a you know Walmart parking lot to spend the night, and it was so hot without the AC and like gross that we oh, yeah. we're just sit, we're like let's go get some beer, and we just got beer and sat in the van in our underwear drinking beer. Yeah, just until gets we humid. passed the fuck out. And we it had the, so all the van doors open. Uh, yeah, you got to have ventilation out there. It's crazy that they just didn't have fucking ACs yeah. at one point. It's There's crazy when, no you're, ACs. when you're on that's your way to... Possible. That's how Portland is, too. When you're on your way to... Uh, to um, when you're on your way to New Orleans, too, it's crazy that you're just driving on the water. I'm like, look at me. Oh, the yeah. fuck, dude? Yeah, the if causeway. this goes down, we're fucked. Yeah, the causeway, it's the longest... Uh, one one of them the, one of them I forget what the name of it is I think it's the Causeway it's like the one of the longest bridges over water in the, in America it's like it's like really just a long oh. ass highway yeah it's long and it's skinny bro you see it from far away and it's like wow mm -hmm. how did they even build this fucking thing because yeah. it's just straight up over water for miles and miles you got any gator stories dude you ever seen a, you ever seen a gator in the wild yeah. out there oh I've seen a lot of gators but any, any close calls. No, no close, no close calls. I mean, I just had stuff swim up on me, kind of scare me a few times. Or it's like, oh shit, that's fucking. You know, we gotta get out of here. That's a gator, but like, they can't, they can't get up on a boat. Mm -hmm. uh, you see one on land, uh, unless it's like really close to you. Good chance you could just, you can outrun it. I mean, it's yeah. not really that fast. They fucking move like yeah. this. They're fast if they're close. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But bursts. You, they burst. They right yeah. so if you're if you if you don't expect them and they're right there could be bad uh but no like i've yeah i've like held like a lot of baby gators yeah. you know uh held baby ga baby gators uh but yeah i mean swamp people they film swamp people in my hometown and that's like just it's such a silly show to me just because yeah. it's it's like uh um, it's the most anticlimactic show ever <laughs> i never understand why people watch it really because it's not really like it doesn't really build any tension to me, because it's just old, the like if you really pay attention, they just have it in a trap, right? They're like, so we got this thing, yeah, in a trap, and so then they so they then, didn't fish it, but then they build out this whole moment where it's like you're pulling up, he's like, come on, you gotta pull up, he's like, yeah, like, yeah hold still, yeah, and then it then like cuts to a progressive commercial, and you're yeah, like, okay. yeah, exactly, and then it's like it builds up this whole moment where all the commercials like, did he get it? Did he get we it? We got him now, and then as soon as it goes back, it's just, <laughs> it's like it's over, <laughs> that's it, it's just like they get it every time, it just. Yeah. <laughs> shoots it in the head that's every episode every episode's like oh shit he lo he loosened up the grip a little and voila. i'm like no he just shot it in the head is that what is that swamp monster what is that no it's uh, swamp people swamp people okay yeah um yeah they, and they filmed that it's, it's still going on now i think it's on like it's 14th season or something it's fucking crazy <laughs> of them catching shit and faking a fucking yeah, yeah. intense moment yeah and they always have like little cut scenes where they like they're cooking at the house or whatever and they try to you know they try, it's like it's like duck dynasty where they try to milk yeah. as much time where they're just shooting bullshit at the <laughs> office 
<laughs> we're just making some eggs, and, and then we're like, going to go catch this giant salamander you, that we got in a cage. You drinking sweet tea again, boy. You, fuck, <laughs> you always drink that sweet tea. I tell, I tell you what. And people are just like watching, like this is good. It's stuff. like this <laughs> is funny. Yeah. This is funny. <laughs> Who do you think that's... he always does? Drink sweet tea. <laughs> is is like... that? Oh, Randy, he's always. <laughs> it's like why is this? Yeah, it's always got a lemon in there. Yeah, it's like, do, do they God. make that shit for people that think those people are like people like me that were raised no. in like in like Oregon that are like, no. oh, people from Louisiana people are fucking swamp from, people. Dude, people from Louisiana would watch Duck Dynasty. Really? So they and just, like, they, it's just the demo. They love that. They love more of their just seeing their life yeah, on TV. On TV. Crazy. And, and like, uh, I don't, I don't know, but it's also like, there's definitely like. There's echelons where like people live more of that life than not. Like mm -hmm. I would say I didn't really live I didn't really live like that like extreme swamp life. I'd mm -hmm. go fishing and you know, my grandpa had a farm and I'd go dirt biking and help him cut grass and whatever. He had like vegetable farms, so I'd like help him do that. But like it wasn't like I was, you know, getting up in the morning and you know, catching frogs. Putting the galoshes you know on, I mean? dude. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> getting up in the morning catching frogs. Uh, you know, it wasn't like I was doing nothing crazy. But, I mean, I would do that stuff. But it wasn't like it was an everyday. Like, there's some people who, like, straight up live off the land. It's just crazy to me, like, getting off work at the tire shop or whatever. Yeah. And then going home. And like making a TV dinner and then throwing on <laughs> more of your life. You know what I mean? Like Crazy. throwing on. Like, let me just watch somebody do what I did today. I just never understood why anyone would watch the fucking uh, the swamp people thing. Cause like I said, after like the, f at the I mean, it, it, for sure, Troy Landry on the on the show is very funny. Uh, they used to do uh, autograph signings at the uh, at our like local grocery store out front, just like just signing autographs for being like, "Here's yeah, me on the TV. That's me on TV." <laughs> And people are like, oh, fuck, it's <laughs> fucking Troy Landry. He's like, literally yeah. just an any other guy. Just a Louisiana. guy. And he's, like, kind of dirty, smells yeah. weird. <laughs> Dude, I miss those we're old like, hunting shows that were, like, really low budget. Yeah. Like, you'd be in a hotel, and they only have three channels. And, like, one of them, you'd click on it, be, like, the news. And then, like, the second one would be, like, so we've been hunting this bug for, for 14 hours. Yeah. We've won this bug. Bill, how you doing? You got? You need some coffee? And you need to say, how Bill, you doing? wake up. Bill, up. Yeah, Bill, get up now. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, I would turn that on with my dad, and we would just fucking laugh our asses off, dude. So now you lining up to take the shot. Oh, no, he moved. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, he named, you know. <laughs> uh, it's so funny, too. And the bigger the gator, they always start They always start, They always start. start nicknaming them. They always start nicknaming them. They're always like, oh, man, that's Big Bubba Thumper. That's Big Bubba Thumper right there. I can tell. Just from I can tell he's, he's got that white mark on the snout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, how long have we been going, Tony? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's time yeah. to wrap it up, brother. Dude, this well, thank fun. you. Yeah, it was really fun. I'm really glad we got to do this, and um, I really appreciate you coming in, dude. You're one of my favorites around, and you're yeah. killing it out here. Thank you, bro. I love you. Catch catch him at the Comedy Mothership. You want to plug some shit? Mothership. Instagram, the CJ Landry, uh, San Antonio, March 16th. Please come out if you're in San Antonio. It'll be fun. I'm bringing if you're in some Austin, really funny people. Go yeah. out to San Antonio. Take yeah. a trip to come the on. Riverwalk. And yeah. go see your boy. Yeah, go to the Rainforest Cafe, the most <laughs> dustiest fucking restaurant Dude, ever. The Rainforest Cafe there's sucks. So much dust in there because there's so much plastic, fake ass plants. They, you know how much the dust fake plants collect. It's crazy. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This CJ Landry on Instagram. Uh, hit me up. Uh, I'm always at Mothership. And uh, yeah, if you can't get in or something, I'm, 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 I'll help you out if you hit me up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Bye. You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot.